Hi amazing Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Simone Speaks. Thanks for tuning into this February love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising as well as Venus. As you guys can see here on camera, I have pulled some cards in advance. Let's jump right into the energy, shall we? So we have the Knight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Page of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Swords upright, okay? So the Queen of Swords is really, really a classic um, air sign card. I love this energy already for you guys. Uh, let's pull two more cards from the Sexual Terror of Magic, and then we'll begin. Two cards for Aquarius, please. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Okay, yes. So automatically from the energy of the cards, Aquarius, what I'm seeing here is that you guys could be possibly waiting for a love offer. Um, for for a lot of you, the phrase I'm hearing is like single and independent. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, you know, this is general love reading, so take what applies, leave the rest, and don't be offended in any way, okay? But the energy I am getting here is like single and independent. So, you know, there's a lot of pages here. There's a lot of pentacle cards here. A lot of sword cards like usual, Aquarius, okay? Because sword is the air element um, and is also the sign for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So I definitely feel here like you guys have a lot going for yourself okay and if you are single I do feel like there is a lot of um, headspace uh, activity going on in regards to this person you, you could have talked to in the past or somebody you just met okay so I do see here this, this massive energy of waiting for a love offer, okay? Wanting some kind of love offer to come through. Right in the smack of the middle of the, the spread here, we have the Ace of Cups Aquarius, okay? So to have the Ace of Cups right in the middle is like the core. It's the core thing that you're, you're wanting to move towards. It's the core thing here that you would like for it to happen in your love life, okay? Like... Being able to have the abundance, having someone to travel with, having someone who understands you, while also having the intimacy, you know, and the companionship and the emotions. Now, right behind the Ace of Cups, we have the Five of Wands. So your cards here, Aquarius, are very, very interesting. You have a little bit of Pentacle, a little bit of Sword, um, you have a Major Arcana, Wands, Pentacles. So there's a lot going on here that I feel is happening for a lot of you this month could be this month could have been more busy than uh could be could have been a very busy one for you like kind of like out of left field you know you just all of a sudden you're just busy out of nowhere Aquarius that's what I'm getting here now we have the sun card beautiful now we have the sun major arcana okay so lots of major arcana here let's flip these cards over the Hermit card, Upright, Virgo. Okay, so we have Leo and Virgo. So you could have Leo, Virgo in your chart, or this person who's going to be coming into your life or that you're watching for could definitely have Leo or Virgo in their chart. And we have the Five of Cups. Okay. So I'm getting an energy here of somebody possibly being worried that someone is gonna like move on or not take up this love offer or not extend a cup of love i definitely feel like there the attraction there's something here about attraction either uh there wasn't enough of a, of attraction on your end or this person's end or whoever's end or the it's the opposite okay i'm getting like one or two things either there was a lot of attraction or there just wasn't enough attraction, okay? And that could be from your side, Aquarius, I do feel here. There's a possibility that this could have been um, on your side, okay? So something did happen in the recent past um, going into the future, because with the Five of Wands, you know, this is the card of competition, um, you know, competitiveness, like, you know, dating around, maybe, you know, someone, someone's aware of somebody else, the potential that this person could be with somebody else, you, you could be with somebody else. So I definitely get the vibe here, like, the conclusion that you really want is to have a solid relationship for a lot of you. If you're, if you're single and you're dating, you know, take, take what applies. But I do feel for like majority of you, you know, this is what you were really going for. You know, this is what you are going for is something that you feel is worth your time. And I don't blame you, Aquarius. I really don't. 
So this person could have went into hiding. Um, I feel it's the energy of the other person, okay? This person could have went into hiding because maybe they assumed that you had um, other options. Now, in, in some cases, what I'm picking up here is that there could have been a scenario in which maybe you have more money than them. Like somebody here has more money than, than the other person and... Uh, you know, it's something about status. You know, I am, I mean, Aries, Aries had a similar vibe, not in the same way at all, but a similar vibe here where it feels like maybe there's a lot of comparisons going on. You know, the five of wands again, five of wands, two of wands, seven of wands. So two and the five is seven. Okay. So it definitely feels like that could have been um, a, a, a really big factor in how your love life has been going so far this month, okay? So there could be a lot of assumptions, a lot of like distance watching, maybe, you know, talking through friends, like perhaps this person is trying to get information, you know, from your friends or there could be gossip here. With the Page of Swords reverse, yeah, this was definitely an indication to me, Aquarius, like there's something else going on here that does not meet the eye, okay? Something else is going on that you're not aware of, okay? Either their feelings or hiding their feelings or, you know, what, what the deal is, you know, why this person has run away. And this also could be your energy as well. But in this card... And this card right here, we do have three people, okay? We have one guy over here, one man over here, one man over here, one man over here, and one woman, okay? So, you know, this illustration is showing uh, competition, okay? Comparisons. So maybe there is an energy here of sizing someone up, okay? Seeing if they fit the bill, Oh, look at this. We have five of cups and we have five pentacles. So five plus five is 10. Okay, look at that. So, you know, the number 10 with these two cards, the energy combining here is showing that the end of a cycle is here. Some kind of end of cycle is, is about to happen, Aquarius, if not already. Okay, so be on a lookout for that because that could be what it is. Maybe there's, you know, a certain kind of situation or people that you're used to dealing with and maybe now you know spirit saying here it's time to try something different you know so going into going into the future we have the nine of pentacles we have the queen of cups so you know i really feel aquarius like for a lot of you this could just be a season of bossing up you know leveling up bossing up getting your money together getting you know much needed rest um the overall energy i feel here is like you know you are the person who is receiving you are the person who's waiting for the most part okay now Somebody could be playing mind games, okay? There's somebody in this equation here who is playing mind games, and I definitely feel like going into the future, the final and concluding card we have here is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of, so the Queen of Swords card is showing that there is going to be, I feel, some words that are going to be said that may come out of left field, okay? Okay. That may be a surprise. That may be what you really weren't expecting. But I do see a lot of um, financial success here. I see a lot of financial abundance here. I mean, look at all the green in the cards, Aquarius, okay? So if you were somebody who um, would like more time off or more money or maybe a raise or, um, you know, to just see improvement in your finances, I feel like these three cards here are showing just that, okay? They're showing that regardless of the the mental conflict and maybe this person or you playing games with somebody or, you know, trying to see where their head's at, you know, not really being forthright, just kind of hiding, sitting back, uh, the money is going to grow. OK, so if this is your energy, Aquarius, what it, the cards are basically saying here is that if you maybe take a step back. Uh, you could you could choose to take a step back to focus on your on your finances to focus on your health. Maybe you feel that that that's more beneficial, okay? Because there's a lot of you I feel that I'm reading for who actually don't mind to be single. You know, unlike other signs, Aquarius, I feel like you are a sign that you know doesn't mind being single, doesn't mind um, 
standing on your own two feet, which is really, really commendable. And I think that that's the energy I'm getting here. Okay. So the Queen of Swords card is showing. I'm going to pull Clarifier for that. Let's get a Clarifier for the Queen of Swords, please. For Aquarius. Whoa, these cards just fell. Let's get a Clarifier for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, Aquarius. Oh, there it is. That's what I thought. Okay, three of pentacles. It was either, I feel like it was either going to be three of um, cups or three of uh, swords or three of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. So this is just starting off. Okay. For a lot of you, this could just be like you just getting yourself out here. Maybe you just, you just, just, you know, met somebody who you're interested in. Maybe you were single for a while. You're kind of finding it hard to get out of that shell. Or this person was single for a while and they're finding it hard to, you know, trust again, take a leap of faith, okay? So I, I do see you playing it safe, Aquarius. I will tell you that, okay? Either you or the cross watcher watching for Aquarius, I see somebody here taking it, uh, playing it safe, okay? You know, new love is going to come in though, which is great. There is going to be, I feel, an abundance of money and, and good health. So if your health has been struggling, I do see you getting back up on your feet, feeling a lot better, you know, rejuvenated, at peace with yourself, at peace with, you know, your life, harmony. So lots, so there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a spiritual spin on your reading, Aquarius. There is definitely a spiritual angle, I feel, coming up here. Maybe you are taking some time or maybe somebody went through the dark night of the soul, okay? Make the effort. Okay, so this card I could take one or two ways. Uh, these three cards popped out. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Chariot, and the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So, yes, Aquarius, I really do feel like maybe this is a time for you guys to, you know, build back up your finances. You know, take some time to focus on your health. I do feel like you are going to move in the direction that's most... Uh, financially sound for you. Eight of cups. Okay. So maybe because someone's taking so long, it's caused you or this person to walk away temporarily. Okay. So for a lot of you, you're on a break. For a lot of you, you are on a break either with dating somebody or just in general. I feel like you're on a break, Aquarius, and I feel like you're going more in the direction of money and health. I really do. Possibly even traveling. Okay. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So what spirit wants to remind you, Aquarius, is that whatever steps you are guided to take to find your true love, to if, if this is the person you want to um, invest in, to build up with, I definitely feel an energy here of saying goodbye to the past, okay? You know, making more room and space for the brand new, okay? So we have Ace of Cups and the Sun card, which is really, really nice. Very, very nice energy, okay? So just so you know, either you or this person is taking a step back to focus on other, you know, sections, other things in their life that I feel, you know, also do in return affect love life, okay? Yes, money and health, um, well-being does affect, you know, love. It does. It makes a big difference. You know, when someone takes care of themselves and is honest with other people, it shows. It definitely shows in a relationship, okay? So I do see, you know, you and this person or this new person coming into your life. Um, let's see the signs. Uh, being very, benef you know, very, very grounded and being able to offer very, very loving moments with you, okay? Like really good memories. This could involve traveling again. Uh, I see all signs here. The Empress, the Empress and the Six of Pentacles, okay? So, yes, this is a balance of give and take. So, I do feel like confidently the person that you are going to be with in the future, Aquarius, there is going to be an equal give and take. I love this for you guys. Very, very positive, very grounded, very mature energy. You know, getting your ducks in a row in order to really bring in this, this new love, manifest it. And if you are already in a relationship, it definitely feels like this is going to make the relationship even stronger. You know, six of pentacles, the balance, you know, gifts, 
taking valuable time to spend with each other, building upon this connection, okay? So very, very positive. I do see a new, a brand new beginning here with somebody, either the person you're with now or a brand new person. And, you know, coming out of hermit mode to embrace the sun. Love it, Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed your love reading. Very, very positive. I feel it's very, very beneficial to your well-being. Whoever this person is, it will be beneficial to you in the long run based upon what you're doing now. So keep up the good work. And I will see you, Chris, on the next video. Please feel free to tap the bell for all notifications. Subscribe and like. Bye.